Howdy folks, Zach Smith, Pest Dude. We're gonna go identify some ants, okay? We don't always need to identify our ants, but when we have ants that are not taking the bait, when we have ants that are not taking the bait, like we've put out some sweet bait and they're not going for it, they're not sweet feeding ants, they're going for protein maybe. We need to look and see what kind of ants we got. So just get a piece of tape, catch them on the tape, the sticky side, and let's go to the microscope. So we jump on this key to ant species and we see that it's got one node on the petiole. So we go to step two. Then on step two, we see that the thorax is uneven in shape. So we go to step four. In step four, we see that the um, node is erect and dull brown in color. And what we have is an Argentine ant. So Argentine ants are sweet feeders, but sometimes will feed on protein. So we have an Argentine ant, which is all I've seen around here. And it makes sense because Argentine ants aren't going to really abide living with other ant species. I'm going to keep on the hunt. I think we have some pavement ants around. Um, they're really hard to identify with the naked eye, uh, especially if you don't have super sharp kid level eyes. You know, you need a hand lens, but they don't hold still. When you put them on the piece of sticky tape and they stay put because they're strong and they can get off, um, you can get a chance to look at do they have one node or two. This is easy stuff. If you Google it, you'll see a, a black and white drawing of an ant body with one node or two on the petiole, which is the part that attaches what would you call its butt, the abdomen, to its um, to its thorax, okay? So that little teeny stick thing, you see it on wasps. It's a little, it's called a petiole. It's actually what attaches a leaf to the stem, the same name, little stick. If there's a little node, a little bump on there, if there's two, it's two node ant. One is one node ant. Anyway, if you're going to get into identifying your ants, um, it's a lot of fun. You do need a good hand lens, a good microscope, a magnifying glass, something like that. Um, I used a dissecting scope. We got it um, for the kids to look at bugs around the yard. And it, it magnifies two times, four times. Um, and the eyepiece is magnified like 10 times. So anyway, you get a good like 20 to 40 times magnification. Um, a lot of fun. Doesn't require a lot of microscope skills. But um, here we still have Argentine ants, okay? So they're, uh, the reason I was curious about them not taking my sweet bait in the front yard where I've been playing around with them with different baits is they uh, went after a dead lizard, which I posted recently. So they're eating the dead lizard for the fat and protein. Um, and Argentines are notoriously sweet feeders and all the literature and all the advice keeps pointing to um, they're feeding on uh, honeydew producing insects. But here we also see that they will opportunize a dead carcass and eat it up. So uh, I'm trying out some uh, protein and fat baits, uh, granular baits, to see if they'll take the bait and uh, keep on learning. All right, folks, Pest Dude out.